Hello everyone and welcome again to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host Rob Bentley and thanks for tuning in. On today's show we'll move from winter sports to the spring and we'll check in with Bulldog football, tennis and softball. And first up head coach Tony Anissa with the Bulldog football team and coach uh, maybe uh, they should call it winter ball but nonetheless spring football is here for the Bulldogs. Yeah it's uh, finally here. Um, you know the weather's been challenging. We had to change our uh, schedule from from uh, a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday week this past week to uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's a little bit of complications going back to back to back, but we managed well and it went really well. Talk about the, the carryover you've had uh, from last season, a uh, great finish to the end of last season at Northern Michigan into winter conditioning and now into spring Yeah, football. it seems like yesterday we were playing at Northern Michigan. So, uh, but it's, it's been, you know, winter conditioning went really well. Um, the kids' attitudes, have, it's been really, really uh, refreshing. They've worked really hard and prepared really hard. And plus now you're coming in with a, a knowledge base where all of a sudden we're, we're kind of adding to a package rather than installing a package, which is nice because uh, knowing, the, knowing the young men we're working with, I can you know, yell their name rather than yelling their number or who is that guy or who is this guy. But that's how last spring went. And, and plus, you know, we're making more plays. Uh, you know, we just had a staff meeting this morning, and our feeling is, uh, you know, we're we're right now in, in a good enough position to probably beat uh, beat ourselves at, at the top of our level last year. So we're very we're feeling very good about what we've achieved. Bulldogs have 15 uh, allotted practices here in the spring, and obviously the spring game coming up on April the 13th. Uh, what's what's kind of the goals uh, here in the spring as you, as you get ready for fall camp? Well, we're polishing up some things. Uh, obviously, personnel, you know, we get, we, particularly in defense, we got to identify some guys who are going to be replacing, uh, you know, some seniors that have left us. Um, on offense, you know, we're you know, we're basically intact. We lost a couple guys that had some, some quality, uh, you know, time on the field. But for the most part on offense, you know, we're, we're just kind of adding to packages and, and trying to develop some of our uh, guys that didn't get a lot of experience uh, last year. Um, and again, like, the, like I said, defensively, we're, we're plugging in some guys who, who really need to get better fast. As we can see uh, from some of the highlights, uh, some snow on the on the sides of the field. But uh, talk about the weather, uh, how your kids have adjusted to that with the with the change in the schedule. Well, it's been good. Uh, you know, thank thank goodness for the the people helping us around Ferris State and clearing the field. And and it's uh, you know you, I guess you wouldn't even have known it it was cold out there. But you know we we practice uh, on on Friday. It was like. You know, I think like 38 to 40, and, and we were celebrating that temperature. So we're so used to being out there when it's 27, 28 that it's been really pretty nice. I know you talked a little bit and touched on it that uh, a little different from last spring uh, when maybe in year one you were trying to implement everything uh, in the spring. Uh, just talk about that adjustment here in year two. Well, so it was just a crazy scramble last year, you know, and, you know, give us credit. Our guys were able to execute a system. Uh, but as I look back at it, I'm like, goodness, we, you know, we weren't, you know, we, we were playing a freshman quarterback. We were playing some young guys and some guys that really didn't have a lot of confidence in a system. So um, now, you know, just looking at, at Jason Vanderlaan and his progression, his confidence level, and then Taylor Maswitz being back and all those things are, are pretty special for us. Obviously, uh, the Bulldogs had uh, a good start last fall uh, in your first season and certainly some high expectations. Uh, talk about how important the spring is to be able to accomplish some things this fall? Well, I think, you know, I, I want to go, I want to leave spring ball knowing who's going to be, you know, our guys in, in critical positions. So um, our secondary has to get a lot better. Um, our linebackers are, are going to be new guys. And we've got uh, virtually our whole defensive front uh, um, is either, you know, the interior guys are back or we've got some guys that plug in we've got high expectations for. Um, Jordan Rocks, is Justin Zimmer, guys that have, have played last year, but now are going to have to take a bigger role because they'll be starters. Certainly on the defensive side, uh, an adjustment this spring, a new defensive coordinator uh, just added to the mix, and Lou Esposito, uh, talk about him and, and what he brings to the Well, day. first off, you never want to lose your staff members. So the day we had signing day, the, the day I found out Ryan Oshnock was leaving for Eastern Michigan. So um, on, on his behalf, I wanted to you know say, hey, 
thanks for all your work. And you know, people want to move up, and, and I don't blame them for wanting to leave. But it, it, you know, for selfish reasons, you, you want stability. But we're fortunate enough to uh, get uh, Lou Esposito, who uh, has great experience. Um, he was uh, assistant head coach at Western Michigan for Bill Cubitt. You know, when, when the head coach gets fired, the whole staff gets fired, and, and he didn't get retained, and uh, we're just, uh, we're blessed to have him. Uh, he's, he's got head coaching experience at the D2 level and then been uh, a D1 assistant head coach, so uh, he knows what it takes to, to make us successful. What do you see as uh, some of the, the biggest areas of, of improvement, uh, some areas where you need to improve this spring? Well, you know, just, just getting guys defensively comfortable in, into positions, slotting them into positions. Uh, you know, our secondary has to be more confident making plays. We moved A.J. McEwen from offense to defense. Um, we think he can help us there um, in the secondary. Some of our uh, secondary guys are pretty experienced. We probably have five or six guys back that have started at some point in the season last year. Linebacker, it's going to be a work in progress, but there's some capable guys to fill spots. And then Offensively, you know, we lost Smolensky and, and uh, you know, Williams and uh, Stoker, who are, you know, pretty key guys. Uh, but I think we got some guys that can really fit in and, and plug in there. Certainly uh, here in the spring, a chance for some guys that, as you've mentioned, uh, that maybe didn't see a whole lot of action last fall to, to try to make some noise and climb up on the depth chart. Right. Looking back uh, at when we got hired on December 22nd, you know, that was kind of a, a you know, it was, it was a tough challenging recruiting class and as we look at the class now we feel we have like 17 guys that are really going to be major contributors at Ferris State and, and that's the guys we're trying to get up to speed right now um, and, and it looks like you know we're going to get a lot out of that group and so we're excited we're excited about the class coming in and we're excited about the class we got in our first uh, first year recruiting and and then we've got some good guys who uh, now you know Adam Bennett and and uh, Vanderlaan, I mean, that's, you know, that's like your pitcher and catcher in baseball. You know, that's a, a you know, a, a center and a, and, a, and a quarterback. And then, you know, Trevor Birmingham looks great at quarterback. I already, I already mentioned, uh, you know, Maswitz, who's, you know, it's, it's going to be a dogfight right there. And the beauty of where we're at right now is even though, uh, you know, Jason Vanderlaan was the GLIAC Freshman Player of the Year, it's, there's no entitlement here, and they all know it. You, you know, they got to come to work every day, and they're all fighting for jobs. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck out of the Bulldogs this spring, and certainly looking forward to uh, the spring game on April 13th, yeah. and should be a, should be a great day for the Bulldog fans to come Appreciate up. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this. <laughs> 